Coming up on South Coast Spotlight, see how the community honors a man who changed the nation. Learn how one athlete is paving the way for women in sports. And join us on the red carpet for a night with the stars. All that and more right now on South Coast Spotlight. Hi, welcome to South Coast Spotlight, where we take you on a journey of art and culture and explore the best that our community has to offer. I'm Stephanie Taylor. 50 years ago, one courageous man's dream brought hope to America. Today, Dr. Martin Luther King's dream lives on. The march ends at the historic Arlington Theater, where many will gather of all different types of backgrounds. I'm very pleased to see this rainbow coalition of people. I guess the dream is still alive. Before the march, residents gather at De La Guerra Park to remember the sacrifices made by Dr. Martin Luther King. His message, his dream should be carried on. And we're all here to participate, and share, and keep it alive. Groups like the World Dance for Humanity and the Gospel Choir of the Church of Oxnard get the crowd on their feet with songs inspired by Dr. King. Many attendees believe the Martin Luther King holiday is one that is important for the Santa Barbara community. A day like this reminds us that we are all one community, we're one people um, with values that, um, that embrace all of us in whether it's issues of global warming, civil rights, um, gay marriage. This is an opportunity for us to come together as a community and show each other that we are all here for each other. Others attend the Day of Memorial to honor their personal history with the civil rights movement. Today is important to me because of my family heritage. My mother was a light black-skinned woman and she lived in um, Arkansas um, during the time where they had segregation of fountains. She had to go in the back of the bus and she had to go to a black school. We're all human beings. We're all the same. We have all the same desires. We have all the same hopes. We have dreams. The sentiment of love and unity inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. echoes by all throughout the day. It brings me great joy on this day that we see all walks of life there. It's a wonderful celebration. And we should live our life like this every day, not only wait for today, but the rest of the year. This is Bailey Miller reporting for TVSB. This next segment is going to give you a healthy dose of girl power. The Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable hosted an event with a special guest who's making history for women in sports. Over 500 female athletes unify at Earl Warren Showgrounds to celebrate the importance of girls in sports. To celebrate National Women and Girls in Sports Day, the Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable hosts a lunch to honor female athletes in the Santa Barbara community. Not only giving them kind of an inspirational message, but also just pulling them all together to say, hey, great job and keep it up. The Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable hosts various events throughout the year to support high school and college athletes in the Santa Barbara community. The event today coincides with a national holiday, Women and Girls in Sports Day. This event is actually a national holiday that recognizes the passing of Title IX in 1972 and recognizes all the achievements that girls and women have accomplished since that time in sports. The world-class ski jumper Alyssa Johnson gives an empowering message to girls during the luncheon. 
Alyssa was chosen as the keynote speaker due to her inspirational journey that led to the inclusion of female ski jumping in the 2014 Olympics. It took us over 12 years to get inclusion for our, our sport specifically. Um, men have been jumping in the Olympics since 1924 and women had never had an event until just last year. So it took us a while and um, we actually ended up in court over it and fighting for women's rights and sports in general. So it's something that took a while and we're happy to finally be included. Jenny Schatzel, a local fitness guru, energizes the crowd with an impromptu workout. We have to support one another, and so that's what I'm, I'm here to get them riled up and get the energy going. Throughout the day, a common theme exists among the young women. A lot of times, like, the guys just get recognition because they're really good at things, but when, like, girls work really hard at something and they do it, I think that's, like, a great thing, like, to be noticed. We need to teach younger generations of girls and empower them to do what they want to do. Not only is it an important day for women in sports, but the community as a whole. All communities um, drive and are a lot more active when they have females um, in sports, and it's important. Sports can bring you places you never thought you would be. This is Bailey Miller reporting for TVSB. One of the biggest events on the South Coast is the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. This year, TV Santa Barbara covered the closing night with interviews of stars from Disney's McFarland USA. It is the closing night of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. For the past two weeks, stars like Jennifer Aniston, Michael Keaton, and Steve Carell have walked the red carpets right here at the Arlington Theater. Tonight, Kevin Costner joins us for his new movie, McFarland. It is a true underdog story about a cross-country team in a small town in California. Stars were greeted by fans as they arrived for the premiere of Disney's McFarland USA, starring Kevin Costner. The film is based on a true story of a high school cross-country team in an economically challenged town. They were kids that didn't have a lot going for them, and when one man points them in a, in a, a certain direction, suddenly, suddenly they achieve things that they never thought were possible. And it's, it's a pretty good lesson to us as adults that if we can, if we can give our kids something to shoot for and get out of their way, and explain to them if they do in fact want it and they're willing to work for it, that something magical can happen. Actors underwent athletic conditioning for the film and it was anything but easy. It was like P90X on steroids when it came to calisthenics, I promise you, and it was non-stop, repetitive workouts yeah, all day. five, six, every day. seven days a week. Yeah. It was strenuous, but amazing. But it was, but it was fun, though. Yeah. The film festival brings a sizable amount of revenue into Santa Barbara, and it is welcomed by the community as a little piece of Hollywood. This is just a wonderful event that's brought here. Look at the, the celebrities that they are able to bring into Santa Barbara, and it's just wonderful. You know, we're so close to LA and we get this little bit of the red carpet here so it's just um, it's very special. And with the red carpet comes longtime fans. We're here to see Kevin Costner. Okay. We, I love his movie with Bodyguard especially so we can see if we can get his autograph. It's not a closer it's a beginning. I, I don't like to think of things as you know, finishing. It's just a continuation and this was a very spectacular year and, and we're just going to continue moving it forward. The original Santa Barbara Film Festival was just a small local event. In the past 30 years it has transformed into an international film festival with the biggest Hollywood stars in attendance. It has become a major attraction for our Santa Barbara community and only continues to grow. This has been Bailey Miller reporting for TVSB. Thanks for sharing this journey with us. Join us next time on South Coast Spotlight for another adventure on the American Riviera. If you have ideas for a future segment, email us at info at tvsb.tv. I'm Stephanie Taylor, and until next time, don't forget to put some culture in your day.